Good morning, family. Welcome in. Welcome in. Welcome in. Let's start sharing very quickly before we are about to start. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are about to start any minute from now. Can we share? Good morning, my darlings. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. make sure to share the live broadcast with somebody who is um, on your timeline on your whatsapp groups I'm doing equally the same those of you on Facebook and in YouTube can we do the same please let's do the same thing Good morning, everybody. As you're coming in, please let me know what country you're tuning in from. We are about to start our prayers this morning. We are about to start our prayers. Let's share the live on our WhatsApp groups, our Facebook channels. Let's let somebody know that the Lord is about to speak this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we thank you. We thank you for this morning's word. We thank you for the teaching that is about to go forth in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. South Africa, good morning. Viela, good morning. I'm trying to see some of the names here. Zambia is in USA, Texas. Welcome, Denise. It's good to have you in the house. Namibia, it's good to have you in the house. I want us to, um, as we are announcing the countries that we are tuning in from, please help me type mountain move. Hallelujah. I want to know who is ready to move mountains this morning on this protocol breaking prayer platform. I want to welcome everybody. If this is your first time, my name is Fortune from South Africa. I am Pastor Fortune, popularly known as PF. Um, so I invite you this morning to pray with us, to fellowship with us, to go into the word with us, to go into the prophetic dimensions as the Lord would lead us. Hallelujah. I invite you to share other uh, to other broadcasts as well, to share other people that you know that are your friends, that you are following on TikTok and on Facebook and YouTube. I'm inviting you to populate the kingdom of God and be a, a partner with me in evangelizing this gospel. Somebody needs to hear this word. Somebody was about to give up this morning. Somebody was about to give up this night, depending on what country you are from. Somebody is going through a lot and needs this word. Somebody was about to commit suicide, but because of your intervention, mentioned by sharing the live broadcast somebody is going to make a change and those of you who are going to be tapping away and also pressing those like buttons throughout the broadcast and participating and commenting may god richly bless you in advance thank you your your labor is not in vain and i do notice it in jesus mighty name i want somebody to type in the comment section and say mountain move hallelujah who's ready to move mountains this morning we're going to declare mountains have to move. Mountains have to move. Hallelujah. Whatever the root cause is, whatever the mountain that you are challenged with today, it has to move for you. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you so much. I see you guys are catching on very fast. Those of you on Mara Official, kindly do the same and share the live broadcast. Mountains move. Hallelujah. I'm going to move some mountains with you this morning. Hallelujah. God is faithful. Whatever the mountain that you may be facing. Hallelujah. We are going to go into prayers that move mountains this morning and the Lord is with us and he's going to make sure that we are flying high. What is a mountain? There's an understanding that we need to have just by way of background and introduction. Let me also bring everybody on YouTube and on Facebook on board. Hallelujah. Now you can see my face. Amen. 
Children of God, I want you to understand that there are things that are mountains in your life. Hallelujah. There are things that will present themselves as mountains. So I, let me begin by explaining what are the mountains of life that we are talking about and why we need those mountains to move. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Hosea 4 verse 6, it says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because they have rejected knowledge. I would also reject them that thou shalt not be a priest to me, seeing that thou hast forgotten the laws of thy God, I will also forget thy children. And often we presented with mountains in life and we find out that because we did not know the solution, how we come out of certain situations or how we are supposed to deal with the mountains that present themselves in our lives, either because of ignorance or because we choose to avoid the laws of God. And God says, if you choose to remain in ignorance i will also forget you and it you will feel alone but thank god that the word has come forth this morning hallelujah it is saying that we need to move this mountain hallelujah the holy spirit says there's a mountain that needs to be moved <clears throat> And it shall be moved in Jesus' mighty name. What is a mountain, Pastor Fortune? It's anything that will prevent you from moving as fast as you can. There are things that have been slowing you down and that you are believing God to move fast on, but these things have been slowing you down. Hallelujah. You are not moving at the speed that you are supposed to be moving. You are not achieving at the speed that you are supposed to be achieving. Come on, somebody. Am I communicating already? Somebody, please type mountain move for the benefit of those who are just coming coming in a bit later than usual hallelujah mountain move hallelujah Every time I'm saying that word, I want you to declare it with me in the comment section. The Bible says that anything, or the, rather the Holy Spirit says anything that prevents you from moving as fast as you can at the pace that God has ordained for you to go on is a mountain. Anything that has been prolonging your life journey more than is it necessary. Any sickness that has been in your body for long and longer than is necessary. I don't think there is an acceptable time period when you, you are supposed to be in any condition of illness. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So anything that has been preventing you from moving as fast as you can, anything that has been prolonging, anything that has been presenting itself as a chronic issue, we are going to deal with it this morning and we're going to remove it. Somebody say mountain move. Hallelujah. There is a journey that you're on. You're on this life journey and mountains keep on popping up. You turn at every turn. There's a mountain that pops up. But this morning, our anchor scripture clearly shows us that the reason why these mountains continue to linger and it keeps on going, like sometimes we are going around the same mountain. It is because we lack understanding on how to deal with these mountains. And because of this ignorance, we are fueled into bondages that we were not supposed to be in because of this ignorance we are fueled to remain captives when we are not supposed to remain captive come on somebody while knowledge is the key to our freedom talk to me john 8 32 makes us understand that if you get knowledge if you get understanding you get the key that will unlock your next level when you get the key of understanding you get to understand how to tackle the mountain the elephant that has been facing you and the elephant that has been facing the the the, the, the family or, or whatever it is that you have around you Hallelujah. Pardon me if, if you see me closing my eyes. Sometimes it's not because I don't want to see. I want to read what you're saying. But whenever the Holy Spirit is also, there's also a lot going on around me. So don't worry. I'm with you. Amen. Amen. I'm with you. Hallelujah. Somebody say mountain move. Somebody's already declaring that there's confusion in their lives and they want that mountain of confusion to move. And so shall it be, Makanaka, in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare that you will be able to make the right decisions. There's a lot that is being presented to you right now. There's a lot of people that are presenting different decisions towards you. And the Lord is saying, I'm going to remove that mountain of confusion in Jesus' mighty name. Therefore, we need to understand that the, there's things that we call mountains of life. And those are the obstacles in life. Hallelujah. And there's a key to handling them. And we are going to unlock what those keys are. Hallelujah. We have been dealing with lifelong mountains. Hallelujah. We're going to look at different definitions of, of, of different mountains. And, and, and I know that this word is going to speak to somebody and you're going to be liberated. Hallelujah. 
There are mountains that have, have presented themselves as, 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 as obstacles that frustrate your progress. Come on, somebody. What am I talking about? I'm talking about anything that has been preventing you from moving as fast as you should and that has been prolonging your life's journey more than is necessary. I'm talking about, secondly, the type of mountains that are life-threatening situations. Some people have found themselves being diagnosed with diseases that they've been told. These are terminal. These are mountains that are dangerous situations that threaten your life. There are mountains, for example, in the physical and both ascending and descending of a mountain are dangerous adventures. Hallelujah. If you think about the people that go hiking, hallelujah, that in itself is a dangerous action. Amen. But the Lord is saying, nothing is impossible for me. Hallelujah. There are mountains that are difficult or are presenting themselves as difficult. There are mountains that are, present themselves as impossible. There are mountains that present themselves as uh, uh, impassable situations. But the Lord is saying, there's nothing impossible for me. Hallelujah. As long as we can stand in agreement with the word of God and we say, mountain, move. Mountains are difficulties. Mountains are impossibilities. Some people are going through a difficult time right now. That thing is a mountain. The impossibilities that are trying to frustrate you. The things that are trying to resist your human efforts. And, and, and you are just striving and you're trying to be successful. You're doing the best you can. You're working but your money is not adding up. You, some of you have got issues with the fact that you don't even know what you're doing with your money. And some of you, it is because of uh, evil manipulation. Hallelujah. If you think about mountains that are chronic satanic afflictions that are on people, there are mountains that are satanic chronic afflictions. There is a repetitive cycle, repetitive um, uh, uh, patterns in your, in your bloodline. Things that are happening in your bloodline repeatedly. And it's because of satanic uh, afflictions that have been placed on your family. There are certain diseases that have nothing to do with the biological condition. But those things uh, that have been manipulated from the satanic kingdom. Talk to me, somebody. Yes, keep on declaring. Whatever health issues that you are declaring, that you are confessing or, 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 or that you are going to be moving today, that thing is a mountain. If health has been a challenge for you, if health has been a difficulty for you, you're going to move that mountain. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Some people have not been able to sleep for days or even for months. And when they came on this platform of protocol breaking prayers, I taught a message on resting and they have told me that, listen, I am now able to rest. The enemy does not have to keep me awake at night the whole time. Every mountain, every mountain that is causing you insomnia, every mountain that has been causing you depression, every mountain that has been causing you high blood pressure, every mountain of Alzheimer's, I speak to you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to that mountain of sugar diabetes. My God, I command it to go down in Jesus' mighty name. There is one thing that the Holy Spirit has confirmed in my spirit today, that when you come on this uh, protocol breaking prayer altar platform, and as we pray this mountain moving, prayers your story must change somebody shout the story must change my story must change come on somebody my story must change the same way it has changed for somebody else yesterday we saw even in the evening that there is a lot of testimonies hallelujah the same way others are having testimonies, so shall you have testimonies. That mountain where you have not been having testimonies, it must change. Somebody declare, my story must change in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I decree upon these ones, my God, that are listening to the sound of my voice. Father, as you have anointed me and you have called me as your servant, Father God, I decree that there shall be a crumbling of every mountain, a crumbling of every disease, a crumbling of poverty, my God, as we as we, 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 we shoot out all the these prayers this morning that are going to go forth, all these uh, prophetic declarations we're going to make this morning, my God, they will crumble every single mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, every affliction is going to crumble. Father, I decree that every single curse is being crumbled right now. It's going to crumble. Whatever curse that they have placed in your life, it's going to crumble in Jesus' mighty name. I speak to every long-standing situation, every negative situation that has been in your life, that has been long-standing, that you have even grown to accept that this is exactly how things are going in your family. Father, I command that mountain to crumble in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. 
anything that prevents you from moving as fast as you should and prolonging your life journey more than it should in Jesus mighty name that thing is a mountain and that mountain must go and come down somebody move that mountain tell tell somebody tell your neighbor mountain move some people who have been preventing you and presenting themselves at the mountains my god i speak to that situation that that person must move out that person who does not have strength to get out of that abusive relationship i command that mountain to move i command that person to leave in if you are scared to leave let that person leave in jesus mighty name so today we're going to identify those chronic type of situations that present themselves as mountains in your life. We're going to engage in warfare prayers to deal with those mountains. We are dealing with every chronic situation in my life. I don't know what is the pattern that you have been fighting. There's a chronic situation of marriagelessness in some people's lives. There's a chronic situation that nobody has been getting a job. You are getting degrees. You are going to school. You are finishing, but nobody is getting a job. Come on, somebody talk to me. Rokalama soto korea bahashakata. Some there's a lady that it cannot be explained because your parents have done every single thing for you. They sent you to university, but because of an ungodly contact that you had with somebody and a manipulation that was done in the evil realm, you came back, you finished, and it cannot be explained why you are unable to secure a job. And this is not just one person, but it is many people. In particular, I'm seeing three ladies in particular. You finished your job, everything you were doing right. But because you had relations, intimate relations with particular people, and that short-circuited everything, and now there's a pattern. You can't secure a job, and there's absolutely no reason. Because the skills that you received are skills that you actually re are required. Father, I declare the crumbling of every mountain in our lives in Jesus' mighty name. Every negative mountain is coming down in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much, family. Please step on the screen. Let's make sure we are sharing the live, guys, so that more people come in and hear this word. I don't want to have to repeat again. So I, wanna, I want you to start seeing your mountains as opportunities. And you're going to develop strength above every mountain that has been facing you. We're going to issue out prayers that move mountains. Pastor Fortune explained to us what are the prayers that move mountains. Those are the kind of powers that carry the enough voltage to move. The powerful prayers that are rooted in faith. Come on somebody. Those who are rooted in faith that can move mountains. We're going to pray them today. We're going to pray effectual. Yesterday, I spoke about the effectual prayers that we are supposed to release prayers that are effective, that are impactful, that bring about results. Come on, somebody. Mountains that have prayers that God bless you. Prayers that will give you uh, a, a genuine, you, you release genuine faith with them. My God. Effectual mountain moving prayers means that you are going to be releasing prayers that are coming from a root of genuine faith, the, the, from, from, from the God of the universe that is able to move things around for you. Come on, oh, Kariyaba Soto, move those protocols for us, oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Because if we have to follow the protocols, we might be delayed even longer. Father, we come with genuine faith before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He is the God of miracles. And he's the one who makes the impossible become possible in Jesus' mighty name. The Bible says you, all you need is faith as a small as a mustard seed. As faith that is as small as a mustard seed. You don't need a faith that confirms that you are a pastor. You don't need a, a faith that confirms that you are a prophet before you can experience the results that you're looking for. He says all you need is a faith as a mustard seed. If you can lift up your hands and say, that's me, pastor. Hallelujah. In the book of Matthew chapter 17, we find a story of uh, Jesus encountering a, a man uh, um, uh, whose son uh, was possessed by a demon. And he asked Jesus to heal his son. He said that, um, you know, saying that the disciples had been unable to do so because he had already asked for help from other people. Some of you are on this platform and are saying, I've been scrolling up and down. I've been saying this prayer request everywhere. And I've been asking for prayers everywhere. My God. 
This is your destiny meeting now. In response to this request, because they were asking, the disciples were asking Jesus, why have we not been able to cast out this demon? Uh, and, and, and why were we not able to heal them? Because you taught us to do this thing. In response to Jesus healing the boy, the dis disciples were asking, God, why did we not be able to, uh, why, why were we not able to cast him out or cast out the demon that is oppressing this person? And Jesus responds to them. He says, your faith was too small. So that then means that there's a point where we need to expand our faith. There's a point where we need to stretch our faith. Talk to me, somebody. Because you have little faith. Somebody type it in the comment section. Yes, the Bible says all you need is a faith the size of a mustard seed. But you need to have enough faith. That means your faith needs to stretch. There are mountains that are going to challenge your prayers. There are mountains that are going to challenge your belief. There are mountains that are going to challenge you. Every time you say, come out in the name of Jesus. And that demon will be staring you right back and say, which, which, which Jesus are you talking about? Because I know you don't know that Jesus. Therefore, I'm not going to end honor it my god but we're not moving somebody tell that mountain to move you're not moving that mountain must move and he says if you have faith like a grain of a mustard seed and you say to this mountain move from here to here it will move and nothing will be impossible to you so jesus now comes back and reinforces and says you don't have faith that means period you do not even exercise your mustard seed faith so my challenge to every single person who's at the sound of my voice is that, can you challenge your mustard seed faith? Have you even used up that one? Have you, do you understand that nothing is impossible with those who are in faith? Nothing impossible is impossible if you will activate your faith. Why is it important to have faith? Because through faith, all things become possible. There are multiple times in the Gospels, in, in, in the book of the law, where we see Jesus recorded this as stating that with God, all things are possible. For as long as you will bring God into your situation, you will understand that things that are impossible become possible. Talk to me, somebody. With man, it might be impossible, but with God, it is possible. Mankind can try and do their tricks. They can try to do their herbs. They can do everything else imaginable, all the tricks of the trade that they may employ, but nothing is impossible with God. So it's better that I go to the healer himself direct. He also used the phrase to encourage the father who of, of the possessed boys to, to, to believe. In Mark chapter 9, uh, 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 verse 14 to 29, he encouraged the father as well. This same response echoes the response that he gave to uh, that, 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 that the angel Gabriel gave to Mary. Her question to him was how was she going to bear a child not having had any intimate relations with any other man? Hallelujah. And because she said, I'm a virgin. And the angel said, nothing is impossible with God. The Holy Spirit shall overshadow you. May your story change. I release an overshadowing of the Holy Spirit this morning. As those, as many who will declare in the comment section and will declare that this mountain must move. I decree and I release that the mountain must move and it will move because the Holy Spirit is about to overshadow you. Nothing is impossible with God in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Just as each and every single person that we have been studying about in the Bible, my God, and the testimonies that have been seen, we have seen people's story change. You should also declare my story must change in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. If you replay the story of Mary, hallelujah, you can see that there are countless ways that God works. God works in amazing ways. God works in amazing ways in, diff in, in different people's lives. Sometimes it's a timing issue and some it, there's no delay. That delay is not a denial. It's just a temporary classroom that you are in to learn certain things and to shift things around. Hallelujah. Is it the time of provision? Some people are saying this mountain has presented financial difficulties. Whether it's healing of diseases that you are believing him for, that is the kind of God that you need this morning that will move that mountain. We're going to bring hardened lost souls to God through our testimonies to move these mountains when they see the mountains move that are before us. 
whatever the situation, child of God, I want to encourage you that mountain will move. Somebody say, my story must change. Understand that the heart that prays, that prays prayers that move mountains is the heart that gets effective results. Come on, somebody. The foundation of effective prayer remains faith. Hallelujah. Believing that God can make the most of any impossible situations around you for your good and his glory. He's turning it around for your good and his glory. He wants to get the glory. So he's not going to allow you to become shamed or ashamed. He's not going to allow you to have the, 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 the symptoms of reproach around you. Talk to me, somebody. Ah, karabashata kadi Your heart and soul needs to be right with God. If you go before the Lord with a mind and heart that are full of sin and lacking in repentance, you run a great risk that your prayers may become unanswered. And I decree and I declare that everybody who has been caring so much and, and this has been the issue that has been blocking your answered prayers, my God, Father God, I plead mercy on their behalf and I ask for a washing and a total repentance and a total restoration with their relationships in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as you have gone around in the Old Testament, you told many prophets to bring warnings, my God, to those <clears throat> who were sinning. You, you, the prophets in the Old Testament kept on going around and said to the children of Israel, warn them to repent. Tell them to stop refusing to repent until if they don't stop repenting, I would stop hearing their cries. But God sent me this morning to reassure you, if you can rise again and say mountain move, there is a change that will come in Jesus mighty name. My God, we are going to pray answer, pray, pray prayers that are going to bring us answers in Jesus mighty name. And one of the key that we are going to get answers to, to, to our prayers is the release of faith that we're going to make. And the confidence that you have in him will determine that if you ask anything according to his will, he will be there to answer you in Jesus' mighty name. Are we tracking together uh, Facebook and YouTube? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Honor his word, honor his presence. Honor his word and honor his presence. Too often people confuse, God did not answer my prayer with God answered me, but told me a no and I didn't want to receive it. Let me say that again so that somebody can be educated. Some people will tell you God did not answer my prayer. But while they're actually misrepresenting the fact that God did answer and God said no, and you did not want to receive the no, and because you did not want to receive the no, it is now being articulated as if God did not answer prayer. Can somebody help me teach somebody and say, if God says no, no is an answer in itself. Some people, God has answered you and he has said no. But because you keep on insisting on your personal permissive will, you are looking for the permissive will of God instead of the perfect will of God. That is why it looks like you're going around in circle. The reason why that thing is not coming into manifestation, he's already said no. No is an answer in itself. No is a sentence that is complete in itself. No does not mean need any explanation because some of us, we are still contending with God. We are still fighting with God. We want reasons. God, why are you saying no? This thing must happen and you keep on declaring, but the thing is not coming to pass. And there's a reason. No is a complete answer in itself. Come on, TikTok. Come on, YouTube. Come on, Facebook. Somebody say no is a complete answer. No is a complete set, complete sentence. And yes, it's because God knows what is best for us. And when he doesn't want that thing for you, the answer will be no. It's not that he ignored you. There is no delay there. The answer is no. And it's not about to change. I don't know who I'm talking about here. But receive your no and move on to the next thing. Hallelujah. When your prayers don't align with his purpose. You want to operate with your human ability. 
but turn to the word of God, understand it, and then pray, pray according to the will of God. Have a heart and life to pray and move mountains. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Our responsibility and our part in moving this mountain is linked to our faith. Your responsibility in praying mountain moving prayers is linked to the word, is linked to praying the, the prayers that are according to his word. God bless those who are giving. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody time say it's time to examine my role. I need to examine my role. I need to examine exactly where I am on this campus. Hallelujah. Examine whether I'm living a righteous life. Therefore, confess your sins one to another. Pray for one another that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man has great power in its working. So if you are the righteousness of God, there is a prayer that you are going to release and it's going to have tremendous power because it's going to produce results because you are forgiving, you're forgiving nature. Yesterday at length, I spoke about this at night that some of you, your prayers are held back because of unforgiveness. Talk to me, somebody. Oh, how are, how are we going to pray these prayers that move mountains? Mountains past the fortune because we want our life to have a life of it to be a life of impact to have a life of impact and prayers that have impact is to have a direct impact with in the, your relationship with God you're gonna have a quality life and quality relationship with God how do we pray these prayers that move mountains hallelujah number one you need to have faith in God secondly you need to pray according his word number three you need to make sure that your heart is clean and confess your sins to God as is necessary to one another stop living like a hypocrite and not apologizing to other people when you have offended them you know sometimes Sometimes the Holy Spirit can tell you that you spoke out of turn or you, you snapped on somebody. You go back and confess and you apologize. As I'm saying this right now, I'm receiving a personal rebuke because there was somebody that, yes, they had done me wrong, but I realized God has just told me, you still need to call that person and ask for forgiveness because there was no reason for you to raise your voice. I'm not going to be a hypocrite, God. I'm going to listen to your, to, to your advice and your counsel. John 10, 10, the Bible says, The thief cometh but to steal and to kill and destroy. I have come that they might have life and have it in abundance, that they might have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. We need to understand that if we allow the devil to just do as he pleases, then we will not have the capacity and the ability to move mountains. But if we allow the God who came to give us life in abundance and we follow his principles, his precepts, everything that he teaches us, we are be beginning to see changes. Hallelujah. The Bible talks about a story about Joshua and Caleb who were sent to spy the, the, the land, the promised land to find out what's happening there. There were other spies that were sent forth and those spies brought back a negative report. They were telling them how there are giants in that land that they will not be able to take over that territory. I'm speaking to those people who are saying Pastor, I've been too scared to even register for that course. Pastor, I'm too scared to even go and do that project because I'm afraid to fail. If you're afraid to fail, what if you succeed? What if you start that thing and you actually succeed? But Josh, Joshua and Caleb, they went. They were brave enough. They, they, were, they went and, and, and heard God's instructions and decided to trust and obey God. They came back with the, with, with the report and they said, yes, we saw the, the giants in the land. We saw, but we also saw the good things that motivate us that we need to fight and get this thing. If you have seen the vision and the destiny and the direction that God is taking you to, and you know that it's good enough to fight for. You know that you've had glorious years in your marriage that were good enough, that were good enough to give you those good memories. You should be motivated enough to fight for the next few years of your life or in, your, in that marriage. You owe it to yourself to fight to see whether God wants this thing to still survive. We don't give up. We don't give out. We don't give in. This is the protocol breaking prayer platform. We don't give up. We don't give out. We don't give in. We don't take no, 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 no. We're going to fight. Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 I had to help the devil very quickly come out of 
our midst in Jesus' name. He's ready to fight for you. God bless you, Franca. The other spies were afraid. They did not trust God. They did not obey God. But Joshua and Caleb said, I will obey God. I will go into the enemy's camp and I'm going to take what is rightfully mine because God has promised me that thing. I'm going to make sure that I get it. I'm going to do whatever is required. It might seem like an insurmountable project and you look at the budget and, and, and what the, the, the projections are and you're saying, will I ever be able to start this business? Where am I going to get the capital to start? But God says there are giants and the mound looks big, but I'm able to make sure that you are going to get it. You're going to start that project. Your proposal will get you the money. Believe in yourself and believe in the God that you serve. Caleb, Caleb never looked at the size of the mountain, but he chose to look at how big God is. Can I have some people who are saying, I'm going to stop today, Pastor Fortune. I'm going to repent. I'm going to stop looking at the size of the problem, but I'm going to look at the size of my God. Caleb chose to see the size of how God big was so big, bigger than this mountain. He, that meant that, you know, there are some people who are looking at their mountains and they are reflecting these mountains and they're saying, this mountain is very big. I don't think I'll achieve it. And you want to change your plans. No, stick to the plan if that is what god has said you stick to the plan if you begin to magnify the mountain you will not be able to conquer come on somebody when you see god and not you not your problems don't see your problems but see the god of that is bigger than your problems when you see god above your problems your problems begin to melt caleb knew that with god all things are possible can somebody shout it in the comment section and say all things are possible come on somebody Ooh, I need some intercessors who are ready to push me through now. Come on, somebody. Keep tapping on that screen, guys. Let's share the live broadcast, guys. Every single person, share with at least one person that you know that is on that broadcast right now. Let's bring more people in. All things are possible in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever problems that you are facing, it is an opportunity to get something good out of it. It's an opportunity to allow God to change himself, to change that situation and to show himself that he is a God and, and, and under the anointing of the Holy Spirit that mountain will begin to level to the ground before him in Jesus mighty name there is an anointing that is flowing right now that is able to level your mountain if you will be open enough and participate fully enough in Jesus mighty name stop staring this is not a movie this is not a replay this is not a this is your life this is the version that you have currently your story must change for the better don't come joking on the platform come joking on this altar However you see your challenge right now, however you are looking at your challenges right now, God will surmount it for you. God is going to level that problem right now. God is going to move that mountain, mountain move. As long as you stand in agreement with him and you declare mountain move, God is going to move that mountain. When David went out to meet Goliath and he went out to fight Goliath, I'm sure Israel stood and looked at him and said, are you really going to do it? Hallelujah. And they were saying, but we have been looking at this Goliath and this Goliath is too big for us. But, but David said, no, 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 no. I don't care about any Goliath who's too big for anything. I am David. I know where I am. I know that God is bigger than Goliath. Hallelujah. I decree and I declare that your giants will fall. They are not bigger than God. Come on, somebody. You need to understand that what you confess is what you receive. So all of you who have been confessing that I am dying, I am, I am, I am losing it, and all these things, you need to change your language. What you confess is what you will receive. Come on, somebody. No Goliath is too big for God. Any mountain, stop saying I am falling apart. If you say you are falling apart, let me tell you the honest truth, you will fall apart. I can only agree with what you believe. What do you believe? Thank you, Jesus. What do you believe? And what are you confessing? I can pray as many prayers. I can lay hands on you. I can release the prophetic word. But what do you believe? And what are you confessing? What is coming out of your mouth? Anything that I say here, some people are going to cancel it before the end of the day. And they're going to say things are tough. Keep saying things are tough and see how tougher they get. 
keep saying that I'm feeling like something is killing me, it will kill you. Somebody say my story must change. That will not be your testimony. You can't come into contact with me and not go and implement this thing. Your story must change in Jesus' name. I decree that your story must change in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My story must change. My language must change. My confession must change. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Without examination, you need to understand that there cannot be a promotion. Without a test, there cannot be a testimony. Therefore, there must be a test before you get a testimony. Some people think that they're going to go through life without being tested. You are going to be tested. Without you going through the examination, there cannot be a promotion. Everybody is on examination, whether you are an academic or whether you are in your workplace. There is an examination that you are going to go through. You are constantly being monitored. You are constantly being examined whether you are able to do the job better than other people. You are constantly being, you, you are, they call it performance evaluation in the workplaces. Your companies, your, your, your business that you are running, customers are constantly evaluating what made customers come in the first place. Why did they decline? What was the decline? What did you stop doing? What formula did you change? What recipe did you change that makes people to stop coming to you? Investigate that thing and find that thing out and deal with it. And sometimes, yes, it is us that need to go through that correction. But sometimes there are evil foundations that are fighting that issue or that business. And some people will manipulate your business by evil, by evil charms. And you need to recognize when something has gone off because you say, Pastor Fortune, I am doing every single thing that I'm supposed to do, everything the way I was supposed to be doing it. But suddenly I've noticed a decline in terms of my clientele. My clients are not coming back. Something is wrong. Not everybody is happy about your success and your progress. You're going to have to fight and move that mountain. Thank you, Jesus. Your confession will bring about your possession. Help me let somebody know. Take your neighbor and say, your confession brings about your possession. So what you are possessing right now, if you don't like it, change your confession. What you see is what, uh, what or what you say is what you will receive. Don't look at the challenge and think that the challenge is too big. David and Caleb had that similar spirit. They, they didn't see their mountain. David and Caleb had the same DNA. They say, I'm not going to choose to see the mountain, but I'm going to see the bigness of my God. My God is bigger than any mountain. Come on, somebody. Caleb and David saw the mountain as an opportunity for God to show himself strong on their behalf. Can you see that God is looking for an opportunity? Every mountain, every challenge is a stepping stone for you. No man must trust in um, no man who trusts in God will be put to shame. But if you trust in human beings, you may be put to shame. Most people trust in their qualifications and their certificates. They trust in their brains. They trust in their ability and their capacities and their capabilities, and they still fail. But I want to encourage somebody to say, trust in God. Every situation that you find yourself uh, in, you present it before God and, to you, to, and God begins to show himself on your behalf. When you start involving God and, and bringing him in all the time. Your strength is in trusting God. Your strength is in trusting the word of God. No mountain of lack will stand before you. He says, I'm Jehovah Jireh. I just declared something. You need to thunder that amen. I say, no mountain of lack will stand before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There is no Goliath that is going to stand before you that is insurmountable. You're going to be able to surmount every Goliath in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Whatever is threatening to stop you, the promise of God in your life, whatever is threatening to stop that promise of God in your life, whatever is threatening to stop your destiny, whatever is threatening to stop your prophetic word, right now in Jesus' mighty name, I command it to catch fire in Jesus' name. You need to understand that when God has said yes, nobody can say no. If he says yes, his yes is yes, and that means he's got the backing for it. Nobody can say no. If Caleb can overcome the mountain and David overcame Goliath, 
then you can overcome your mountain equally so in Jesus mighty name am I communicating to somebody Joshua 14 12 he says give me this mountain wherefore the Lord spake in that day for the 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 the, the, the hearers in that day how Anakins were there and that the cities were great and fenced if so be the Lord with me then I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. So you trust in the fact that whatever, whatever army presents itself against you, God will help you drive out those things that are busy tormenting you. Never think that you are seeing what, what, what you are seeing is, be, is bigger than your God. Somebody shout, my God is bigger in Jesus' mighty name. My God is bigger than any mountain. My God is bigger than any problem in Jesus' mighty name. Don't look at the size of the mountain. Don't. If you look at the size of your mountain, you begin to nurse that mountain. You begin to nurse that problem. You become to. You now become one with the problem. You still start calling it my problem, my problem. See the bigness of God. Your root is your foundation. What is your root? Caleb and David determined that they will not die until they were celebrated. Make up your mind today that I will not die until I'm celebrated. There must be things that you conquer that your children will not have to go through. You must conquer the things that you, that your parents suffered with. You cannot let whatever suffer, made your parents suffer make you suffer. That means when you check out of this world, you're going to leave your children to suffer the same way. God forbid the devil is a liar and so is his mother-in-law and everybody else in that lineage. In Jesus mighty name you have to conquer many many believers allow their problems to, to 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 kill them before they are celebration don't allow your problems to kill you before you celebrate don't allow to your problems to just do anyhow somebody needs to declare in the comment section and say i will celebrate this year we are looking forward to your invitations. We will celebrate. I will celebrate. I don't want you to worry about where the fees are coming for, from for you to complete your, your education. Listen, you will celebrate in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that there is no problem that God cannot solve. You are going to receive strength above every mountain that has been hindering you. The counsel of a man can fail, but the counsel of God can never fail. The prayer of man can fail, but the prayer of God can never fail. Come on, somebody. David and Caleb deleted their names from the list of failures. Somebody needs to delete their list, their name. Whatever, if there is a failure book somewhere that your name is, I want you to erase it now and say, right now I delete my name from any book of failure any list where they put me I don't know who enlisted me for failure but you're gonna be disappointed I am deleting my name from that failure book in Jesus mighty name somebody's being delivered from dizzy spells right now in Jesus name you will not die until you celebrate in Jesus mighty name that person I'm talking to, you, you're feeling a bit of an arrest in, in your body right now. You cannot move literally. And it's because the Holy Spirit is doing a surgery. You've been having a lot of dizzy spells lately. Out of nowhere. They just come and go, come and go. Let me make sure that I can see the comments. If that confirmation is going to come from Facebook or YouTube. I see YouTube. YouTube I, you, you're not here to play this morning. Amen. I see your comments. I delete my name from the book of failure. Any list that says I will fail, I delete my name. I delete the name of my family members. I delete my husband's name from that list. I delete the name of my daughter from that list. In Jesus' mighty name. You will celebrate this year in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for that confirmation. Is it happening to your daughter? She's been having dizzy spells. David met his people. They had been trapped by Goliath for 40 days. He decided he was not going to be amongst those who are going to be entrapped in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Peter's name was on the list of failure. He was about to be killed, but his name was removed when the angel came to rescue him. In Jesus' mighty name. Sorry, I didn't get that confirmation testimony. Somebody was giving a testimony. 
we can bring it back again. Father, thank you. Your name is being deleted from the list of failure. You are receiving the strength that is above every other mountain. The Bible says, but those who wait upon the Lord, they shall renew their strength and they shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Come on, somebody. That's talking about me and you. That's a prophetic word for me and you. Oh, it is your daughter that has been having those dizzy spells. Please just look over her right now. She's quiet and she's not moving at the moment. It's because the Holy Spirit is creating a surgery. She will be quiet for a few minutes and then she's going to start, she's going to burst out. She's going to start praying automatically. Miss P. I speak deliverance to you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I want you to just sit there and speak in tongues. As you are listening to the sound of my voice right now, I want you to speak in tongues in Jesus' mighty name. In fact, you're going to feel like you want to vomit any minute from now. Come back and tell me, tell me what it, when it's happened, just tell me, just, just keep on speaking in tongues and you're going to vomit. You're going to vomit just now. I can feel it. It's coming on. Whatever mountain that is presenting itself as a problem, whatever mountain of blockages, whatever mountains of stagnancy, whatever mountains that are moving as if they are a roadblock in your life, stopping you from moving forward. Right now, I speak to those mountains. Right now, I, I, I decree and I declare that you are receiving a strength above every mountain that has been tormenting you. In Jesus' mighty name, you are receiving strength right now. You are receiving strength right now above every single mountain. Mountains of shame, you are receiving a strength above the mountain of shame. Somebody is feeling a relief right now because you have been feeling shamed. You have been feeling looked up down upon that you are even scared to go around to your neighbors to ask for things. I speak to the mountain of affliction in Jesus' name. Oh, makaniya masata kaliaba sotokodia. Every mountain of affliction, every mountain of confusion is removed right now. Every mountain of debt is removed right now in Jesus' mighty name. The, the solution to the mountain is the strength of God. Somebody say, I receive the strength of God. Can we type together? Can we preach together? Come on, guys. I don't want to joke right now. I don't want to take too long. I'm almost closing, to, close to closing time. If deliverance is to happen, I need people who are ready to, to move and, and, and push this thing. The Holy Spirit is ready to move. I receive the strength of the Lord. Come on, somebody. I receive the solutions that are brought about by the strength of the Lord this morning. You cannot fly above uh, the mountain without strength. You need the strength of God. Somebody confess with me and say, I need the strength of the Lord. I need the strength of the Lord because I need to fly above this mountain. If I cannot level it, I need to fly above it and go higher. Hallelujah. I speak to every mountain of sickness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command it to receive the strength of the Lord. Without the strength of the Lord, that mountain of sickness will not move. Right now, I command the strength of the Lord to come upon you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let the strength of the Lord come upon you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Let the strength of the Lord come upon you right now in Jesus' mighty name. Something is happening. Something is happening right now. Something is happening right now. There is a move of the Holy Spirit right now in a lot of people right now. The Holy Spirit is hitting you right now, right now now right now i feel it in the mighty name of jesus christ some people are being slain in the spirit in their houses right now right now you are having it right now your eyes have just been hit right now with the breeze there's something there's a heaviness that has just hit you right in the front right now in jesus mighty name oh thank you jesus you will not go out empty if a person wakes up empty without strength physically and without strength spiritually that person ba ba basically it means that your day is empty 
I refuse for you to be released here being empty. You will not go empty-handed in the name of Jesus. Somebody declare and pronounce it with me. I will not go empty-handed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Understand this child of God that God has made snakes to crawl and made eagles to fly. He has designed you to fly above all circumstances. You are not a snake. You are not going to crawl. You are meant for the top. He has meant for you to become like an eagle that flies above the circumstances that have been trying to bring you down. In Jesus' mighty name, I will not go empty. I'm waiting for those testimonies because the Lord is doing surgeries this morning. When a mountain is standing against somebody and he does not have the strength to fly above the mountain, he will end up in shame and sorrow. And Father God, right now I come against the shame and sorrow in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for that confirmation in Jesus' name. Guys, do you know how to perceive the presence of the Holy Spirit? Do you know how to receive him? When you sit on your throne of celebrations, mountains cannot stand such a person. I declare and I decree you will sit on your seat of celebration. You will sit on your seat of celebration. You will sit on your seat of celebration. You will sit in your seat of celebration. In the next seven days, they will confirm that your celebration, that letter you are waiting for is coming. And in the three months, in the next three months, it will be confirmed permanently that you are permanent in that position. You will sit in your seat of celebration. Somebody is going to be appointed to an acting position. And in the next three months, it's going to be made permanent. And you are actually expecting it because somebody has actually fallen sick at your workplace and they're not going to be able to return because they will, be, they will be booked off for a long time. You're going to act in that role and you are going to be made, made permanent. Oh, Jesus. Oh, let me speed this up because I can see that we've got a, a warning of the load shedding again now. If the curses from your father's house or the curses from your mother's house have been working against you and you cannot fly right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I release speed for you to go. You are fleeing from those curses. Father God, I uproot every curse from your father's house, your mother's house in Jesus mighty God. Oh, By the blood of Jesus Christ, we come against every curse in every foundation in Jesus mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You need to break the curses in your life. You need to break the curses that's made your parents suffer. They cannot continue to make you suffer. We are breaking curses that are, are going to make your children suffer. They will not suffer. They cannot suffer. It stops. You are the one who is breaking the curse. You are the curse breaker. It stops right now in Jesus' mighty name. Today you are locating your heavenly father. Your life is changing in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, NY. I decree that the curse is broken in Jesus' mighty name. Father, as I close, I pray for every single person that is on this broadcast, my God. That they shall finish this, year, this month. They shall finish this year without shame without sorrow in jesus mighty name i decree that you will sit on your throne of celebration in the mighty name of jesus christ in this month you will sit on your throne of celebration because you have sat on the throne of celebration god is going to change your story for good this month in the name of jesus christ the lord is silencing every single oracle that has been boasting against you this month every single oracle that has been speaking badly about you in jesus mighty name this year you will not be pulled down like other years whatever has been pulling you down since the month of january in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that it scatters by fire you will be celebrated this year you will sit on your seat of celebration in jesus mighty name I decree and I declare that every power that has been crying over your life to be destroyed right now, I command that power to destroy itself in Jesus' mighty name. Anywhere where they have gathered to scatter and destroy you, they will destroy themselves. They will start fighting against themselves in Jesus' mighty name. Shame, we command you to pass over us in the name of Jesus Christ, for we are marked with the blood of Jesus. Shame has to pass over. Let it pass over in Jesus' mighty name. Let it pass over our family members in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yes, oh God. 
oh God of Joseph, arise this morning and let our glory shine this month and beyond in Jesus' mighty name. Many years to come and let that glory continue to shine. My God, let our shining not stop in Jesus' mighty name. Every curse that we have been under from whatever direction, Father God, whoever has sent that arrows of evil, my God, in Jesus' mighty name, whatever has been working our against our prosperity, we speak to that wickedness, we speak to that evil incantation, we speak to that satanic agent, we command it to break away from us in Jesus' mighty name. Every blessing that Jesus was crucified for, Father God, I call it into manifestation to everybody who's at the sound of my voice, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, receive your healing. That person who's been having pain on your left hand shoulder, in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, I declare prophetically, I am releasing strength for you to fly above any mountain in Jesus mighty name you are getting released my God every strength that you need to fly above every mountain in Jesus mighty name if you want thank you as you are confirming in Jesus mighty name I command you healed in Jesus mighty name left hand shoulder left hand shoulder at the upper arm you have been having pain i command you to be free right now in jesus mighty name share the live broadcast and keep on tapping on the screen guys keep on tapping on that screen god is going to renew you physically spiritually you are receiving strength my god is that you Yes, it's the arm and shoulder actually. Flaxidic in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody else who's just confirmed. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at that. Look at the testimonies that are happening. Sorry, I can't pin every one of that testimony right now. I command that healing to be complete in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That healing is being perfected right now in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. When he speaks to one, he speaks to all. So I'm not surprised that there's a lot of people because I've been trying to ignore it. I've been trying to ignore it because I'm so determined to, to finish my message. But it kept on coming. It kept on coming. Tell me how you're feeling. Every single person, that left shoulder right now, you have been feeling something. Something has been happening to you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. There's somebody you have been seeing, a neurologist. And they have been contemplating operating on you. Please speak up so that I can tell you what is happening. You have been contemplating whether or not you're going to go through with the operation that they are telling you about. The operation is supposed to be at the back of your brain. Just receive, just keep stretching it out and keep keep proclaiming I'm healed in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I receive my healing in Jesus' mighty name. It's just a symptom. Ma Ma Maslin, I'm, I'm, you see where I'm holding myself right now? Are you feeling that pressure right now? Are you feeling the pressure that I'm pushing against it right now? Maslin, I don't know if I'm, I'm pronouncing your name right. Maslin. There is pressure that you are feeling right now. Just where your neck starts. Just where your spinal cord starts. I'm pressing on it. Are you feeling it? Yes. She said yes. Father, perform that surgery. Distance is not a barrier, guys. I want to teach you that the Holy Spirit travels. I want to teach you that the distance is not a barrier. I don't know why God uses me this way, but I, I'm performing, I'm, 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 I'm standing in the gap. This is, I'm the vessel that God is using right now. You are feeling relief, Maslin. In Jesus' mighty name. Father, I'm, I'm keeping on pressing every single movement. It's just that I can't show you. If I lift up my wig, it will look weird. But as I'm pressing, I'm pressing on it right now. 
I command every vein to flow properly in Jesus' mighty name. Every vein is coming into alignment. Every vein is coming into alignment. Father, let the blood flow in Jesus' mighty name. healed in Jesus mighty name Maslin tell me what you, how you're feeling stand up and go drink a glass of water and come back and testify mountains are being leveled this morning in Jesus mighty name I want to speak to those I've not slept my honey I've been praying I've not slept yet I probably won't sleep. I will be praying because there's a bigger um, prayer session that we are even having tonight. So I have to, I have to key in in the Holy Spirit. I sometimes I do try to sleep, but I have to wait until He releases me because He gets to show me exactly what will happen and who is coming and what will be happening. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Receive the strength to fly over your financial mountains. Every financial challenge right now, I need that person. Some of you are going to provoke me to travel to your countries to come and lay hands myself in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you so much. God bless you, my love. You can watch the replay of everything else, but I will keep you in prayer in Jesus' mighty name. May, the God, may God bless you. I know you're going off to work. You're dashing off to work, so don't worry. Somebody said yes, so I'm guessing that there's more healings that are happening right now in Jesus' mighty name. Marshall says, please come. No, you must come. <laughs> I actually had one of our sons in, in the ministry the other day, and um, I think I still have his WhatsApp. His legs suddenly swelled up in the middle of the night, and he drove in here. And he had not told me that he had a girlfriend and he drove and he was at the gate. He was saying, this has happened. And I was like, why did you not go to the hospital? And he said, I went to the hospital and they, they did x-ray. They said they can't see anything. And he said, the only thing that I said, actually, no, no, he didn't go to the hospital. That's what I remember. When apostle asked, he says, why did you come here? He says, all I knew is that I had to come to Pretoria and my leg would be fine. And the following day, he was able to walk. But I'm saying to you, distance is not a barrier. From where I'm sitting, I may not be able to reach your country now. But the Lord who serve, whom I serve, the Lord who works through me can be able to... Touch it. You ask for it, touch it. I've already anointed myself before I even started, but touch it. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Touch it. Receive the peace of mind in Jesus' mighty name. Open doors for Dubai in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. YouTube, touch it. Let's, let's, let's stand in agreement. Facebook, touch it. I'm on that camera for you guys on YouTube and, 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 and on, on Facebook. Touch it. So that you don't say that I missed my opportunity. Don't miss your opportunity. command that postpartum depression to go in Jesus mighty name you will love your child you will be fine you will be okay in Jesus mighty name Pearl I command that back and neck pain to go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Pearl I, I hear the Holy Spirit say that you need to take better care of yourself you are doing way too much and it's not helping and you stressing about it is what is causing the neck pain to continue. 
and watch what you are eating as well. Be very diligent with your nutrition right now in Jesus' name. Oh, Jesus. I think I'm going to have to go deeper. There's too many spinal injuries, spinal issues going on. Father, every single person that is suffering from any spinal injury, any spinal degradation in their body right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you right now. I command healing. I command the angels to do their work right now. Every spinal degeneration. Some of you, there is that connecting tissue. That I don't know whether they call it a ligament or something that is in between your vertebrae. You guys help me with the language because is that happening right now, Gwen? That burning sensation on your spine. God is restoring. They, you went and you your your radiologist report says that there is no joining connecting tissue that cushions you between the different vertebras when you go for your next uh, radiology scan God is saying I'm rebuilding your bones are actually sitting on top of each other and when you go for your next test some of you are going for, I don't know whether it's a CAT scan or whatever they call it in different countries, but you're going to see a difference. Mom Sophie, I want you to pray for every single person that's got a spinal issue on this broadcast right now. I want you to keep on declaring and praying and interceding for me. Help me intercede for the people that are having spinal problems. Mom Kathy, I need you to do the same. I need you to pray right now. I know that you are a prayer warrior. I need you to pray for others to, to be healed right now. Total restoration. Because I know God has begun the restoration in you guys. Every single person. Is, uh, what, disc, what level of disc is that? Sorry, I missed Jane. Because the Lord is showing me that I'm repairing. Yes, Steve, he will repair it. He will repair it. Sometimes I struggle with these medical terms because I've never seen it, but I'm just seeing. Father, I command that pain to go right now. I free Lorraine from that desiccated spine in Jesus' mighty name. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Some of you who have been told you need to go for these spinal operations, I need you to stop and go on a fast and pray because if you, oh, please, before anybody goes for any spinal operation, feel free to WhatsApp me. I can't say it now because I, I won't go against you at the advice of your doctors or anything, but I'm asking you to give God a chance. There's something the Lord is talking to me about right now and I'm, I'm not released to talk about it fully until I get a full revelation of it. There is something con con that's happening with the issues of the spine. Right or left, that headache, right or left. I'm feeling it more on the left and it's even affecting your sinus on your left. Please come back again. It's going very fast. I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse, I reverse. Father, I cancel that stroke that was coming to Jay's right now in Jesus' name. I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jay's, please monitor your blood pressure. Help me monitor your blood pressure.
in Jesus mighty name Anna please help me pray as well as, as you are picking up the other prayer requests I will pin it when I can pick it up in Jesus mighty name C5 and C6 Bongile in Jesus mighty name I command it to be healed in Jesus mighty name I, I command the ligaments to be rebuilt everything that tissue to be rebuilt right now by the Holy Ghost in Jesus mighty name every single mountain of illness in Jesus mighty name be leveled I decree and I declare this month you will not fail every power that has been wanting you to crawl instead of flying like the eagle that you are I come against it in Jesus mighty name look at that t6 and t7 it's just way too much guys guys you really need to take care of your health everything that is not of God anything that God did not plan how God did not create you that thing is being flushed out I, I, I'm seeing a lot of issues with the spine. Oh God. You are carrying a whole lot of load, guys. There's a whole lot of load that you're carrying. And I need you to more than ever to hold on. Hold on to this Jesus and you pray. Some of your spinal conditions are because of the burdens that you're, you're carrying too many burdens emotionally. You are carrying too many burdens financially and you cannot allow those things to get to you. God is going to rectify it. Are we together on this thing? God is going to rectify it in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. Everybody who's watching me for the first time, please follow the account where you're on. I'm on every day at 5 a.m. Tonight we are doing midnight. From now, I will tell you by the time we stop how many hours then you're going to see me. We're going to do an all night, at least three hours minimum. And we're going to trust God to make more interventions. And by the grace of God, God would have just... You are carrying a load. You are carrying a load of too many things. Your family burdens are on you and they are affecting that person, T5, T7. What's happening in your family? Because I'm seeing a lot of, 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 of issues in your family. I'm seeing a lot of, of burdens. I'm seeing a lot that you're carrying. and I didn't read your name so if you are confirming please just tell me exactly what's going on in your family thank you Jesus father let Joyce's grandson start speaking father we thank you for restoration of speech in the mighty name of Jesus Christ okay let me do this let me just pray and close and so that I can deal with these other things a bit but today I have to close early because of our midnight session. Father, I, I thank you. Every sacrifice of shame, every sacrifice of sorrow carried against your life, I command it to end in the name of Jesus Christ. Every sacrifice of shame, it will end in shame. Every sacrifice of sorrow, it will end in sorrow in Jesus' mighty name right now they are destroyed in the mighty name of jesus christ guys i need you now to stop focusing on the problems i will tell you when to to to, to send your request just now because now we are magnifying the problem let's magnify god let's bring god into it let's let's pray it through let's magnify the bigness of god let's let's bring god into it amen i need you to thunder that amen well I need you to tap on that screen. I need you to comment as fast as you can, guys. Come on, let's go. There's plenty of us here. God will move. I need you to tap on that screen. I need you to share the life with somebody else again that you've not shared the life to right now. In Jesus' mighty name, I want us to magnify the bigness of God, not the bigness of the problem. Every single condition, I can see it. I can see it. There's a lot happening in the healing realm right now. Right now, I can see. I feel every sensation. I don't know why God made me do feel all these things. I can feel it. 
there's a lot happening there's somebody who's actually having a problem on their jaw right now right now so i i don't want to go into that dimension right now i want us to magnify god i want us to move this mountain i want to declare to these mountains that they are moving i can feel it don't worry i'm on it i'm on it and god is on it we are standing in agreement between us. We are on it together. We are standing in agreement where two or three are gathered. I'm in their midst and I will perform that which they are believing me for. YouTube, make sure you are still talk to, talking to us. Come on, somebody. Somebody say, move that mountain. Mountain, move. Mountain, move. Mountain, move. Let the divine finger of God catapult you to your desired mountain. You are on a mountain that you did not want. God catapult me to a mountain that I desire, the mountain of success, the mountain of healing. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you are... Let's, let's give him a prayer of thanksgiving. Divine finger of God catapult me to a total deliverance from this sickness. Deliver me completely. Catapult me to a place where I'm totally healed. No more pain. In Jesus' mighty name. Every evil sacrifice of shame that has been carried at the junction, at the satanic altar, at the let the fire of God consume them. Let the fire of God consume every satanic, every satanic shame, every evil sacrifice. Oh, Robo Shikala Masunda. For the past two or three days, every time when you were stepping out of your house, there was an egg that you you seeing eggshells at your gate. When it's time, I'll ask you to identify yourself. But if you identify yourself, you can. The moderators will pin you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, there have been evil incantations and sacrifices that are being made at your gate. And I'm sending the fire of God to consume it right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mahomet, you've been tracking with me for a while now. And I implore you, change the language, my darling. That statement you just wrote, I want you to declare it in the positive right now in Jesus' name. Yes, you are having wrist pain. Do you see me holding the wrist? Hope. Do you see me? I've been holding my wrist. You've, you are seeing my hand, right? I'm magnifying the, the, the God. I'm moving the mountain. That mountain must move. That mountain must move in Jesus' mighty name. That mountain must move. Come on, somebody, declare mountain move. Mountain move. That wrist pain is gone in Jesus' mighty name. That request that you have in your heart, that good request that comes with a good motive, the Lord says, I will grant it to you in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I speak to every generational curse. To everybody who's listening to the sound of my voice right now, every generational curse coming from your father's or your mother's house right now, anything that has been working against you, against your prosperity, I command it to break right now in Jesus' mighty name. The blessings of the cross of Calvary shall locate you today in Jesus' mighty name. From today and beyond, may blessings begin to locate you and pursue you in Jesus' mighty name. I decree and I declare that you will fly like an eagle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will fly, fly above the mountains in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare that no power shall stop you in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak to every generational curse that has been speaking against your prosperity. I command it to break, 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 break now in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare and I decree that you will not see shame and shame will not locate you in Jesus' mighty name. You will not see shame and shame will not locate you in this name, in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, in this month and beyond, I command that you will locate the my God, prosperity shall locate them in Jesus' mighty name. 
No power shall stop you anymore in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The power that stopped your fathers and your mothers, the power that stopped your siblings. My God, right now, that power, it ceases to exist. It will not stop you in Jesus' mighty name. You are the changer. You are the changer. You are the changer. Your story is going to change even for your siblings, your generation, current and beyond. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I uproot that uh, curse that is coming from your father's house and your mother's house. What stopped them? It will not stop you in Jesus' mighty name. My God, I decree and I declare that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, uh, you will live long in Jesus' mighty name. Every power that has been gathering and wants to kill you, my God, I command it to kill itself in Jesus' mighty name. Every satanic conflict coffin that has been constructed and they thought that you are going to die and you're going to be buried. Father God, I send it back to sender in Jesus' mighty name. It shall not come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every satanic error that has been fired against you in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, locate the sender and let it go back in Jesus' mighty name. I send it back from wherever it comes from. No satanic error will, error will su su survive in Jesus' mighty name receive the freedom from God. I decree that celebration is yours in Jesus' mighty name. I decree that you will sit on the seat of celebration in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I declare that celebration shall not be far from you in the next three, six days. My God, you will continue to sit on your seat of celebration. Things are going to change around you. There is somebody who's unfortunate online and you have been saying that people are envious, envious of you. They are jealous of you. You're going to start noticing a change because God is going to touch them right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No power will stop you this month in Jesus mighty name. You will fly high as an eagle in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Can somebody glorify God? Can somebody stand in agreement with me in Jesus mighty name? Holy Ghost fire, destroy every work of the devil in our, our lives. My God, this morning, Father, we rose to move the mountains. Father, we ask for your Holy Spirit to destroy every work, every work of the devil in our lives. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory, my God. Glory to you, God, my God. We ask that you overshadow us in all the areas of our lives, the same way you overshadowed Mary. Father God, overshadow us in every area of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we receive the strength of God to empower us as we go into the day and into the week. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we rise above. We rise rise above. We rise above. God bless you, those who are giving in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we rise above any root by the power in the blood of Jesus. We uproot any power, any evil power, any evil tree that has been planted, that has been... Somebody who has given a plant, that plant that was given to you as a gift, since that plant has entered your house. There has been an air of sadness and, and depression. It's like there's a heaviness in your house. You don't understand. Things are not the same way that you understand exactly. It, that plant, it is inside a clay pot. I need you to throw away that plant in Jesus' mighty name. Every power that has been holding me down, my God, my God, my God. Whatever power that has been holding you in whatever pot, wherever they put your name in whatever pot, Father, I command that pot to break right now in Jesus' mighty name. In fact, when you are going to look at that plant, you are going to see if you try and keep that plant for any extra day, it's going to wither. That it will not be, it's not actually, there's already, I'm seeing the leaves, there's leaves that are already brown and you have been trying and you're seeing, how am I going to put water in this thing? How is this? It's already an indication because God was saying it's time. You receive this plant from a friend, a female friend. I don't know whether it was for a birthday or what it was, but you need to break that pot. In Jesus' mighty name, you need to break that pot. You need to break that pot in Jesus' name. Sorry guys, the screen was frozen there at the top. But I saw some of the testimonies some of you were confirming. I decree and I declare you will not die. You will be celebrated. Somebody say, I will be celebrated in Jesus' mighty name. 
every negative thought that has been disturbing you coffee i command those committees to see silence peace silence in jesus mighty name i decree you will not die you will be celebrated in the mighty name of jesus christ i delete your name from every satanic list of failure in the name of jesus christ i decree that you will overcome your problems in jesus mighty name i decree that you are coming out of that problem out of that challenge in the mighty name of jesus christ you are coming out of the mountain of poverty i decree that you are coming out of the mountain of sorrow i wish you could thunder that amen well i don't know why you are still spectating but you are not saying that amen are you not in agreement do you want the mountain of poverty to still linger around you in the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody. Somebody gets ready to be celebrated. God bless those who are gifting in Jesus' mighty name. Father God, those who are tapping, those who are gifting, those who are sharing. Father God, those who are open, Lord, who are saying, I'm desperate, oh God. I pronounce over their lives right now, Father God, they shall not be overcome by the mountains of poverty in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not be overcome by a mountain of sorrow. You will not be overcome by the mountain of sickness. I feel every single person that has been complaining about pains in their body right now there is an absolute sudden relief that has come upon everybody right now because I can feel it right now the Holy Spirit is circulating around me right now and it's like a whirlwind and you have suddenly felt peace now if you try and look for the pain you will not find it unless you are not spiritually connected if you can feel the Holy Spirit that breeze around you God is correcting hallelujah Father, I declare and I decree that everybody who's at the sound of my voice, they will overcome the mountain of death the mountain of death they will overcome the mountain of shame they will overcome the mountain of stagnancy they will overcome the mountain mountain of sorrow in Jesus mighty name you will overcome the mountain of hatred in Jesus name you will overcome victory is yours can somebody declare victory is mine oh shakaraba sata Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. The healing is free here, my darling. So please don't come in and, 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 and try and confuse people. Somebody just came on the broadcast. Hallelujah. I know my, 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 my family always says, don't pay attention to the trollers. Nobody must come and ask you for money here. There's a healing that is free. And the healing comes from God. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody declare victory is mine. Victory is mine in Jesus' mighty name. You are rising above the root of failure. You are rising above the root of stagnancy. You are rising. You are rising above sickness. You are rising against stag uh, above stag stagnancy. Father God, in every way that your name, oh Kalama Shota, every name that is represented on this broadcast, any name that is represented on that list of failure, in any way that it has been represented, whether it is on the list of backwardness, a, a list of stagnancy, right now I delete that name in the power of of the blood of Jesus, by the power of the blood of Jesus, I delete your name from the spirit of backwardness in Jesus' mighty name. Today, I declare and I decree that your name is written in the book of success. Somebody shout a loud amen if you believe it. I said your name is written in the book of success in the name of Jesus Christ. Is YouTube going to sound a resounding amen in Jesus' mighty name? Facebook, let me check on you because Facebook, I think YouTube are, are feeling a bit cold. Mam Chido, God, God bless you. Stay victory is yours in Jesus' mighty name. Let me scroll up and check up on Facebook. Thank you, Jesus. Mam Chido, thank you so much. Brenda, you are healed in Jesus' mighty name. Everywhere you need healing in your life, whether it's in the area of your finances, you are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed. And that family member that you have been trusting for and you've been worried about. God bless you, Alice. God bless you. Thank you so much. God bless you and increase you in Jesus' mighty name. That mountain. What is that mountain that has been causing you to have great problems in your life? I speak to it right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You, 
You are a child of God. You are living in a spiritual dimension. You create and you recreate in the spirit dimension and everything that you can control in the spirit realm will be manifesting in the physical in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I pray that everything that we see happening around us in the physical realm that has not been orchestrated by you my God we are returning back into the spirit realm to reconstruct to recontrol to reprogram right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ oh shaka don't take advantage of the spirit realm in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I'm recreating my world. Recreate your world in the spirit realm right now in Jesus' mighty name so that you can see what you are seeing in the spirit realm. It must manifest in the physical in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever attack that the devil has been bringing in whatever form, my God, invisible mountains to stop you, invisible mountains to delay you, Invi invisible mountains to stop your progress, invisible mountains to make you see clearly. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name, I command them to catch fire. Every single invisible mountain. Can somebody rise and declare and pray with me? Father God, right now, I declare and I decree every single invisible mountain catches fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we rose to pray and to, to move that mountain, every invisible and visible mountain. Right now, we command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Kalama Don't underestimate your prayers when you pray against the movement of mountains. You need just a grain mustard seed type level of faith that you can move that mountain in the name of Jesus Christ. I need you to declare more than ever right now. I need the audacity that is going to come out of you right now. I need you to fight in the spirit right now in Jesus' mighty name. Come on guys, we're just warming up. We are not even at midnight prayer yet. We are not yet at midnight prayer yet. So if I'm telling you to push at this level, do you understand what I'm looking for? By the time we hit midnight today, you better be ready. In Jesus' mighty name. Don't underestimate the prayer of moving a mountain. There are mountains that need to go down. Mountains have been affecting people. People's spines are degenerating at a speed that is so fast. Kalaba shoto and we need to uproot it in Jesus' mighty name. I command healing right now in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Every invisible barrier presented by any invisible mountain right now, whatever is standing against you, whatever invisible barrier that is standing against you, I command it to go in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Every invisible power, every invisible force operating around you, around your world, around your family in the name of Jesus Christ, always at war with you. Even when you don't present yourself for the battle, my God, it seems like they are charging for you. They keep on coming for you. They keep on being envious of you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I command it to catch fire. Father, I command them that wherever they are gathered, they are gathered to scatter. They gather against themselves to fight amongst themselves. The pit that they dig for us, they will fall in it themselves in Jesus mighty name may we not miss the understanding and the wisdom to understand how these mountains are operating in our lives in Jesus mighty name my God for we are not fighting against the flesh and blood we are fighting against principalities and rulers my God in an unseen world against mighty powers in the dark world and against evil spirit in heavenly places father God right now in this morning father God as we start this morning and as we transition even into our midnight prayer father God let there be even more testimonies tonight in Jesus mighty name that every principality that has been standing against us my God that we will conquer in Jesus mighty name every power of darkness every power from the evil side my god it shall be conquered it is conquered it will be conquered before the end of this broadcast father god the healings that have taken place will be sealed by the blood of jesus and never to be touched again in jesus mighty name we come believing in our faith in the mighty name of jesus christ we are committed oh god in the mighty name of jesus christ thank you jesus my God, my God, I release seeds of peace all around in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father God, from this day, cause us to see your glory. Can somebody pray that and declare it with me? Let me see your glory, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. 
Father, let there be a manifestation in my life. Let there be a manifestation in my career. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be a manifestation in my family. Let there be a manifestation in my academics. Let there be a manifestation in my marriage. Let there be a manifestation in my ministry. Let there be a manifestation in my business. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the morning, I will see the glory of the Lord. Every complaint that I have brought before the Lord has been addressed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, the Lord will cause his face to shine upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will cause his face to shine upon your endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From today, the Lord will locate you and your household in the name of Jesus Christ for the sake of prosperity. Prosperity will locate you and your house in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. From this morning, God will cause everything around you to start working for your good. Success and greatness is your portion in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whatever the enemy meant for evil, God has meant it for your good in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, I decree. Come on somebody. I, I believe that you are shouting that amen louder. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that today will announce that great day, that great new thing that is about to happen in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the word of God says, those who trust in the Lord will find new strength. I decree that you are finding new strength in the name of Jesus Christ. They will soar on high with wings or like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not faint. I command that person who has been saying Pastor Fortune, I'm getting tired. Right now, I command the strength of God. You are being renewed. The strength of God is coming on you. Right now, in Jesus' mighty name, Muhammad, right now, receive, receive. Every single person on YouTube, I command that you will receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can somebody begin to thank the Lord as we close? Please continue to thank the Lord as we close. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know why they like disturbing us on Mara Official, but it is well. Somebody say, my faith is renewed. I'm renewed by fire today. I'm renewed by fire. I am moving mountains. I am renewed by fire in Jesus' mighty name. Your faith is being strengthened in higher dimensions today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your strength is, you, you, you are being refueled. You are being strengthened. You are moving to a higher dimension in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive the supernatural grace to be strengthened by your faith in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I declare that our faith is being re-energized this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. We are being re-energized powerfully. Somebody receive that re-energizing right now. I'm being re-energized in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I decree that our passion will keep on going. My God, the passion will be on fire. My God, keep us burning. Keep us burning. Somebody say, let this altar burn. Keep me burning. Keep my altar of prayer burning in Jesus' mighty name. I decree, Lord, that there is no situation that will silence our destiny. There is no situation that will silence your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No power will be able to silence you. No power will be able to quench your faith. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I, I, I decree that you are receiving the grace to flow and serve you more in Jesus' mighty name. From this moment, receive the grace to flow. You are going to flow even deeper in the dimensions of the spirit realm in Jesus' mighty name. Receive a new fire on your altar of prayer. Receive a new fire on your altar of prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I declare and I decree that the anointing to keep trusting you in every situation in our life is being released right now in Jesus' mighty name. We receive the anointing of the supernatural. We receive, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. We command the establishment of, uh, uh, in our lives uh, of everything that is prosperous, everything that is divine healing. My God, we receive that anointing in Jesus' mighty name. You are unshakable. 
you are unstoppable in the name of Jesus Christ. There is no issue that will drown you. The things that they thought that will, they will drown you, they will drown themselves in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless everybody who's gifting. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Your altar will keep on burning, burning, my God. Bonga L, your altar will keep on burning in Jesus' mighty name. Agnes Iliakim, your altar will keep on burning in Jesus' name. I decree that your, your destiny shall be established as a solid rock. Your destiny shall be established as a solid rock in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's, let's receive the grace. Father, I thank you for these ones that have showed up for this broadcast this morning. Thank you for everybody from Facebook, YouTube, and on TikTok. Father God, those that have risen, the intercessors, the, the, the watchmen, the prayer warriors, everybody who's here. Everybody who came with the need for, sick, for, for, for their bodies, my God, that they want restoration, my God. Father, restore their heart and, and their heart motives in Jesus' mighty name. Help them to find the solutions, oh God. Help them to take the solutions that they received here, oh God, and reinforce it in their spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for using me as a vessel. Thank you, Lord, for speaking through me. Thank you, Lord, for every deliverance that has happened in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. I pray for every single person on Facebook and on YouTube. I declare and I decree you are blessed. Your needs are met. Nothing lacking. You are unstoppable. In Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to close early as I said today. I don't know what's going on with these two hours. The more I try to do one hour, the more these two hours keeps on going. Guys, please make sure you are following the broadcast that you are following me on. And in my profile on TikTok, there is a link to a live event that is happening tonight. So right now we are almost at 7 a.m. How many hours to 12 midnight? 7 to 8, 8 to 9, 9 to 10, 10 to 11, 11 to 12, 12 to 1. I think in 10 hours did i count right guys 12 what what's midnight from this time in south africa please help me those geniuses who can calculate thank you mary taylor thank you so much i, I it's holy it's the holy spirit that has revealed that for you to you mary please follow me on uh, on 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 fortune online as well I'm going to come in tomorrow official and I'm going to put my hands on Mary, please. It's the Holy Spirit that told you to do that for me right now. 17 hours from now is midnight, guys. Are you sure? Did you calculate properly? So the easier way, thank you so much, Tusky. Taki, Taki. Go to my profile and you click on my profile and you follow me and you click on the notification bell. And under my profile, you will see the name that says Fortune Online. Thank you so much, Alicia. You're going to um, also see the, the Instagram icon. It's there. It says edit profile, blah, blah, blah. That Instagram icon, when you click on it, when you open it, it shows you my profile on YouTube and on, on, on Instagram. Follow both, please. You can watch the replays on YouTube. On Instagram, it's just easier for you to send messages for me there on there. Thank you for that person that... God revealed that you needed to do that for me. Thank you so much. It's not flesh and blood that revealed it to you, but it's the Holy Spirit. So I'm coming onto the Mara platform to give you my handle so that you can find me here. Those of you unfortunate online, it's easier for you to, to find me here. You will see I have also pinned the WhatsApp group code um, that you can scan. Use somebody else's phone to take a screenshot and um, 
are you seeing that uh, account that i pinned guide for fortune online so the account you are on is mara official but if you need to follow him on youtube it's takunda mara but also on his profile if you click on his uh, instagram or youtube link you will be directly there subscribe for us and like the videos guys it helps us with the traffic that we need people to come and know jesus thank you so much alicia so help us do that we don't ask for much we don't ask for anything if the lord leads you to bless us it's okay but everything is free we're just asking you to follow and also go and watch the youtube and come back with a testimony let me not say i'm not asking for anything i want you to come back with a testimony i want you to go apply listen to the teachings and apply it okay god bless you denise i'm glad god um oh wow amen so all I, I want to know, and when you join the WhatsApp group, thank you for those who are sending the testimonies of what is happening in their lives. When I open the WhatsApp group for comments, you guys are amazing. Please just follow me. Uh, follow Maro Official. Follow uh, on uh, TikTok as well. And follow the YouTube links and Instagram links. I will follow everybody back on um, Instagram, as you have seen I've been doing. And I think I'm caught up with the messages as well charisma i'm grateful that you feel free thank you so much my darlings on youtube and facebook please come back um tonight at midnight go get yourself ready we are fasting and praying and also be praying for me